This is Abomey Benin. This is where voodoo originated and behind me is a chameleon shaped voodoo temple. Y'all know I love reptiles so this place is especially amazing to me. But if this chameleon shaped voodoo temple wasn't awesome enough, right now there is a voodoo service happening in the chameleon temple and we have been invited to go and attend the ceremony. Voodoo is a state religion in the West African country of Benin and it's practiced in various forms across the region and from here it's spread throughout the world. It's very much a living religion with elaborate temples, priests, family and household shrines, ceremonies and masquerades. Voodoo contains multiple deities and spirits that are believed to be active on a daily basis and require regular offerings of food, alcohol, and the fresh blood of animals such as chickens or goats. The idea behind those sacrifices is that to give up something that's important to you, well, that will certainly grab the attention of the gods. I am fascinated by this religion and I wanted to learn more about how voodoo is practiced in this region. And the best way to get a glimpse of this colorful and vibrant religion is of course to go directly to the temples. leg there, a leg back here. This whole temple is shaped like a chameleon right down to the chameleon's curly tail. All right, so let's take a closer look here. Look at this. This has been fashioned. You got the two toes that a chameleon has and the two toes in front, but they uh, made three. So look at this. Chameleons have bulbous eyes that move independent of each other, which means that that eye can be looking forward while the eye on the other side can be looking backwards. And man, they got it just perfect. But you can see that uh, it looks like there was some electricity in his eye. So apparently the original plan may have been for the eyes to glow. But look at this. So this is the entrance and we're waiting to see if we can go inside here but this is just amazing. And uh, there's no locks on the doors here, so this is open to anybody that wants to come and um, worship, which is really cool. But then on either side of it, you've got these kind of really cool statues playing a traditional voodoo drum. And then on this side over here, you've got this woman with what I assume is a dove. And then over here on this side, look at that, we've even got the nostril, we've got the eye, no electric hookup there, so apparently that was an idea that just didn't come to fruition, but we come back over here, and it's right on the edge of a traditional African mud house here, but look at this, we've got legs on this side, but we come back here, and we got the leg, and the curly tail over there, this is really thick. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get in there, but we can definitely see the curly tail and that staircase over there. I kind of want to see where that staircase leads to, but I don't think that staircase looks pretty sound, so we're gonna have to play that one by ear. So in all the temples that I've explored all over the world, this one is probably the coolest one I've ever seen, and it's also the most remote. It took us a couple of days to get up here just to check out this temple. And man, again, so worth it. So look at this, this has all been fashioned and made out of cement. This is, can you imagine the undertaking that it took to build this temple out of cement and to get it so anatomically correct to a chameleon? This is just amazing. 
So I bet you're asking why the person who created this temple shaped it like a chameleon. Well, in voodoo, chameleons are the symbol of confidence. They represent God here on earth. And that belief isn't just for the people who practice voodoo here. Practitioners of voodoo from all across the world recognize the divinity of the chameleon. So what, who built this temple? The, 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 name is, um, the name of the person is Agbaleno. Okay. And the person died already. Oh, he, yeah, I understand that he died two, before two, he could finish two years, it. Uh, two years ago. Yeah. He doesn't finish. Then he gets some problem, stomach problem. They, they, they take him to Maroc. Morocco, Morocco. Ah, they, to they him. took him to the hospital then in he Morocco. Died, he died there, and they, they take the deaf, the, the deaf to Cotonou, I and see. they bring to bury the deaf here. They bury, they so he's buried they, here they with his temple. The, the temple there. And how long did it take him to build this? Do you know? Uh, make, make we are going to ask for the woman, woman who did it. Yeah. Because they, they know, they know everything. They, they know everything. Know. <laughs> they know, they know everything. So while they were talking and trying to secure permission for us to enter the temple, I want to show you what else is around the Chameleon Temple, specifically another temple right across the street here. And this temple is where the creator of the Chameleon Temple is buried. But just look at how intricate the designs are on the walls of this temple. Every one of these depictions represents a belief structure in the voodoo religion. And yeah, that's a big erection which symbolizes strength and vitality. This was a temple I really wanted to explore as well, but unfortunately we couldn't get inside. But the walls of this place have incredible symbolism. And these pictorials not only tell the history of this place, but these are items symbolic in voodoo culture. And I have to admit, I struggle to find meaning in these symbols, but it didn't stop me from appreciating its beauty. But all around the grounds here are these little buildings that are called spirit houses or prayer houses and they are just big enough for one or two people to worship in solitude. And, well, a few chickens, I suppose. Okay, the okay, man, they yeah. die already. My, yes. My yes, the vaccine, uh, them come life before them start breeding the things. If it is this, this woman, he get one girl. Now the girl, he have uh, 18 years now. So the caretaker is, uh, has been here for 18 years now? Yes. Okay. So the things, for us now, it be 18 years. So the beginning, like uh, five to six years to finish. Five to six years to finish to the finish, temple. Yes. Where the people start come touch inside. Gotcha. So five to ten years. What did you say? Years. Five to six years, you yes. said, it took them to build this temple. Wow. Now, can we go inside? Uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow. All right, so it's the next day and we're back at the Chameleon Temple and there's a service going on in there and we've been invited to attend. So you can hear the drums from the ceremony happening just inside. We're going in the side door over here and we're gonna join in the ceremony. As I walked to the temple full of anticipation, knowing that I was about to witness something that may be the most extraordinary thing I ever saw, we later learned that we were the first Westerners ever to be invited inside the building during a ceremony let alone to film it. Shoes off? Like that, yes. Shoes off? No, no, no. Okay. I'm going down, I'm going down. Yeah. Shoes off before you go in the temple. Okay. All right, thank you. But as I walked around and looked around at the beauty of this place, it almost took my breath away. I've never seen any other temple anywhere in the world quite like this. The stage in the front of the temple, right behind the chameleon's open mouth, had a lion throne and two lions sitting on either side. Standing here, realizing how unique of an experience this is, your head kind of swells with disbelief. And not one of the practitioners looked at us as if we were outsiders. They were all very welcoming. Still, 
I couldn't help but to feel like I was intruding somehow. But just look at all the intricate artwork and attention to detail in this place. And this, again, was all built by one man's vision. And any architect in the world would be amazed by this incredible place. And then, one of the most incredible things I've ever witnessed anywhere in the world began. Holy shit. I have traveled this entire world and I have seen some incredible things before, but that, that was the most incredible thing I have ever got to witness. Wow. You know, I'll tell you, voodoo is demonized by Hollywood. It's made out to be this evil religion that has voodoo dolls and all of this other bullshit, but you know, the actual voodoo religion is actually a very colorful and vibrant religion. And this was one of the highlights of my entire life to actually be able to come and participate and witness an actual voodoo ceremony. And it's in a temple the shape of a chameleon. So anyway, guys, this is my brand new channel. Please help it grow by hitting that subscribe button, hitting that bell when you hit that subscribe button. Also comment below and hit that like button. And until the next strange adventures, wherever that may take me, embrace your strange and rattle on.